Good morning, beautiful people! Welcome back to Liu, leave everything in wonder! As you may know, we are leaving, uh, we are going back to America. We are going back to Mexico in a few days. So this will be our last vlog in Italy. But before that, we would like to say goodbye to Italy. We would like to show you a little bit more of this beautiful country. So let's show you something about the South Tyrol, Italy. Hi everybody! <laughs> Hi everybody! Good evening beautiful people! Where do you think we are? British Columbia? No, but the flowers are really the same. We are in Italy. Germany. No, we are in... <laughs> Thank you, Luca. <laughs> we ruined my game <laughs> before I stop it. We really? are in Italy. We are <laughs> in South Tyrol. <laughs> we are in Bassenales, Nationalstal. We are at Lago di Vernago, Vernago Lake and close to this place they have found the similar man, Ötzi! Remember? <laughs> <laughs> and in Merano was so hot, Merano is my hometown, was so hot during this day so we came here. We came was... here because we are doing a photo shoot for Canada Goose. They are a Canadian brand so we really love that fact. So we are happy to bring a Canadian brand uh, to Italy and uh, through our videos uh, worldwide. And South Tyrol is really beautiful so I'm really proud to be born here in South Tyrol. Yes, this is her land. Uh, her roots are all about this land, uh, these mountains, these beautiful lakes, uh, all these perfume uh, flowers. Uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get out. <laughs> We just want to share with you this beautiful, beautiful place. the 27th of March. Where are we? We are in the mountains um, above Merano in South Tyrol and uh, we are having a small break. This is a lantiega, sort of uh, uh, Tyrolean Lame. sausage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we're gonna continue with our walk. It's yeah. nice, 10 degrees, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. It's really nice and we are up in the mountain again after Mexico. 
So the weather is good, the temperature is perfect. As you can see, there is still ice and snow in here. Look at that. But uh, look at that, uh, amazing. Okay, so you like it? I would like to show you oh, yes. what we have. Uh, we have uh, speck. It's like it's pork uh, um, the meat, the belly, and um, it's delicious. It's a little bit smoked, and uh, then we have some cheese. It looks like a little bit like Philadelphia. It's not real South Tyrolean cheese, but it's Philadelphia, and spec it's really from here. first and then in Italian. Why? Because we are bilingual. Bilingual region, yeah. Bilingual region. It was Austria here until 1919 and then after the first uh, world war it became suddenly Italy. So in the beginning was a big shock also for the population here and then uh, it became uh, normal for two languages to live together. We study German at school. We are Italian, our family is Italian family. But then at the school you you learn German. I would talk about uh, dialect, uh, German dialect, because if uh, a guy from Germany comes here, he wouldn't understand a single word of what they say. But in school we, we learn. In school we learn Hochdeutsch. the proper the proper yeah. Hochdeutsch, the proper German. And but the yeah, problem yeah. is no one talk talk about yeah. no one talk about that. It's dialect. It's like when you go in in Italy and you go in Sicily, you don't understand. Ita the Italian yeah. they talk. Yeah, in, in America as well or in German as well. Dialect is completely different. Like if you go to Sicily, they don't speak Italian, they speak Siciliano. If you go to Napoli, they don't speak uh, Italian, no, they speak Siciliano, Napoletano. They speak Siciliano. I don't know. <laughs> I can speak Siciliano. Portuguese Parla if you My brother is really good. Parla Siciliano, Luca, che magari ti capisco, ma. Siciliano. Amunin. 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 How is the, the German dialect here? The South Tyrolean. Well, I, uh, South Tyrolean. I don't speak it so good, but it will be something like uh, Good, uh, yes, I uh, am uh, um, uh, and then uh, ask me a uh, and was in Eta. What have you said? Uh, Alright, now we go home and uh, we, we eat something. Something like that. And in proper German would be? Gut. Jetzt fahren wir wieder nach Hause und uh, wir essen etwas dort. <laughs> wow. You can hear you, yeah, the, the difference. difference. Uh, Just slightly. <laughs> barely. Barely. I would like to hear like the, the English accents because I know that you are studying. <laughs> the proper. The proper. <laughs> it's, a, it's a long way, but I started and what I can say better than other stuff is uh, can I have a glass of water please uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right all right guys all right all right I go home let's go let's go, go. okay let's go <laughs> okay all right all right, all right. All right. Let's go. By the way, I would like to introduce you to my brother Dave. Last time we couldn't record the audio because the camera was broken. He's a young teacher. Uh, it's a little bit complicated for me to explain you what he's doing, so please introduce yourself. Okay, hi guys, I'm Dave, Sarah's brother. 
and I teach at the University of Bologna. Do you want me to say what I'm teaching? Because it's not so easy. Of course. <laughs> All right, so I teach Germanic philology, and Germanic philology means uh, literatures and languages of the Germanic Middle Ages. Sounds difficult, right? Yeah. But it's not so difficult, it's great. And for example, I don't know, Old English, uh, Medieval German, Medieval Dutch, uh, Old Norse, in Italy is all put together and then you, you got your areas of specialization. Well, for instance, I'm, I'm doing uh, Medieval German literature and uh, Dutch literature. So wow. those are my, my field, my subject of, of, of study. Normally I just say, I teach German. <laughs> uh, so it's it's easier. Otherwise, I have to explain what is philology, what the, what means Germanic, which is not German. It's all the, the the group of the Germanic languages. So which are? Oh, there are a lot. So the most known are English, German, um, Dutch, uh, Swedish. Then you got Norse, uh, Icelandic. Uh, which, Africans. Uh, which which one is your favorite? Wow. If you can choose one, let's say. One, just one. Yes. Or Thanks. two. Or two, yes. Well, I say German, uh, German for sure. This is the first love, so it remains special. And, uh, well, Dutch probably. Second and, love. Yeah, second love. So if you can better understand your language, so the, the, the oldest stage of your language, it gives you a better understanding of the modern stage of the language, especially if you study, I teach at the Department of Language and Literature. So if you study, for instance, German and English, uh, it's important that you know what kind of language you're studying, why you say mm, specific things in a certain way. I would like to ask you, what do you think about our project, our adventure? Well, I support it and I, I was one of, of the first, I think, who knew about the project. I think it's a really brave kind of expedition, adventure. Also because uh, you do it of, for yourself, but also in order to inspire people, which is, which is great if you think about it. And uh, being your brother, I know what kind of big work, what kind of amount of work you got behind the scenes because people see you on video, hi guys, are you doing and this and that but they have really, I think, they don't have any idea of how complicated it is so the shooting of the video, uh, what you say in the video thinking about the editing, thinking about the music, thinking about what doing next thinking about the money, which is really important and it's, it's difficult also because you told in, in many videos that you're not just like two millionaires traveling around the world because it's great and it's fun. You're just two normal guys who left everything for real. I really respect what you're doing also because not everyone could do something like that. And at the beginning I was a little bit skeptical because it has become a sort of uh, uh, I don't know, fashion, to leave everything and traveling around. But the way you're doing it is special. Because, and I'm not saying because you're, I'm, I'm your brother, but uh, you're doing from a different perspective. I only have positive idea of, of, of your adventure. Now you are about to leave for, for South America. Of course, knowing that you are about to travel um, through some dangerous countries uh, makes me worry. The way I am, I would like to, to, to plan everything, to be sure, to not be too anxious about the trip. And that's also great. And I also, I also have to say that you guys inspired me as well. Also because sometimes we are just so focused on our everyday life. Oh, I have to do this, I have to do that. Oh, I got this deadline. And we, we forget that life is going on. So we think, oh, I'm going, maybe I'm, one day I'm going to go to Australia or one day I want to visit Mexico. But then you're stuck because of the life, because of projects. You told me to, to say sometimes, fuck off, let's do it. And then, and then, then let's see what, what, what happens. So keep on going and uh, respect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.
Thank you, Dave. Please, if you like our videos, smash the thumbs up button and uh, please subscribe if you haven't yet. If you have watched just the last 10 or 20 videos on our channel, just go and see the other 200 video videos because we have a lot of videos that we edit with all our hearts. We appreciate you, we love you, we, we love the way you support us and our YouTube family is growing so fast and is growing in a beautiful way. We put a lot of effort in the editing. Check all the playlists, uh, subscribe to the channel. The adventure continues for Lucky Liu, for Luke and Sarah, for Liu. Forever. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. Woo!